Center for Lasers and Photonics or CELP is an interdisciplinary center of research and excellence that has a diverse faculty and students from various departments from science to engineering, physics, chemistry, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, aerospace engineering and civil engineering. This diverse set of faculty and students are oriented towards performing innovative state-of-the-art research in photonics and various sub-topics associated with photonics. The center houses excellent laser facility system from femtosecond laser uh, with micro-machining to nanosecond lasers for its use in various applications including fabrication, laser material processing, biomedical spectroscopic studies and several other related fields of research. The center has an academic program called Photonic Science and Engineering and it is a postgraduate program which the students can pursue and obtain degrees of MTech, MS and PhD. The students also perform a hands-on laboratory session which is one of the innovative and hallmark features of our academic program. Our students have been absorbed in various industries such as DRDO, BEL, MathWorks and many other reputed companies. Several of our alumni have also pursued their PhD in reputed national and international universities. Several of our alumni are also now faculty at reputed institutes. CELP is a unique interdisciplinary center of research in excellence and with its diverse faculty and students as well as the state-of-the-art facilities that the center houses, we invite industry and students to take advantage of the facilities as well as to develop innovative research and product by collaborating with us. Here, this facility is the femtosecond laser micro-machining system. Particularly, this facility consists of the high-powered femtosecond laser from the Clark MXR with 775 and 15590 nanometer output possibilities and pulse energy at about 0.8 mg. It is coupled through the lenses and integrated with a micro-machining facility from the Optec. With this facility, we can fabricate the different type of microstructure designs, including the 3D microchannels, 3D optical bits inside the transparent materials like uh, fused silica, quartz, lithium niobate, polymer. Since this is a very high power laser system, it can also be used to make the microstructures over the hard material like the diamond materials. So the light from the femtosecond laser, the output is coupled from the backside and it is focused over the sample using this objective lens. The LED ring is available here in order to illuminate the machining area. The operating conditions for this stage can be controlled through the operating software through the systems. This is the pulse laser facility where you can see that there are number of high power laser systems available. One of them is a Quantare NDR laser. This output from this laser can be used to generate the plasma and the experiments related to the plasma. Also, this facility can be availed for a different type of experimental setups as per the requirement of the end users. In laser technology lab, we perform experiments based on interference, diffraction, and polarization. One can also learn about holography, optical fiber, and laser characterization. Also, one can explore about the experiments related to light matter interaction in presence of external field like electro-optic, magneto-optic, and echo-optic. This lab is also used as characterization facility for laser sources like diode laser, gas lasers, DPSS lasers, etc. Let's see few of our lab experiments. This is Michelson interferometer. Student measured coherence length of different sources, any laser, diode laser, and another laser. This is mirror, and light goes through this way, and after doing a spatial filtering, it goes through the beam splitter, and we capture fringes on the CCD camera, which we see on the computer. 
This is the setup of Maxenter interferometer. This is the laser source, helium neon laser, that is coming from here and it is splitting the laser beam into two paths. These two paths recombine here at the beam splitter and it is giving the interference pattern. That interference pattern is giving the phase shift and uh, here we can also calculate the refractive index by changing the temperature. Fresnel and Fraunhofer diffraction pattern is based on the concept which is known as the Fresnel number. So Fresnel number decides whether we are in the Fresnel region or in the diffraction region. The Fresnel has the inverse proportionality with the length. This length is nothing but the length between the aperture and the screen. In the first experiment, what we are trying to assess is to first analyze whether we are in the Fresnel region or in the Fraunhofer region. And accordingly, we will also try to assess the intensity pattern which will be made on this screen. And behind the screen, we are having the silicon photo detector. With the help of this silicon photo detector, we can analyze the amount of intensity which is coming with the help of this multimeter. But in the second experiment, we'll just only try to analyze the intensity pattern in the transfer direction. In this experiment, there are two parts. First one is diffraction grating characterization. So we calculate the group density of this blaze grating with these three lasers. One is green, blue and the red. And another part is the fabry interferometry. So there is a fabry cavity. So using the any laser, we determine the transmittance curve and the thinness for this laser. The main objective of this experiment is to create a virtual image that is done through hologram. The basic concept which is used is interference pattern. Heaney laser is passed and that's how the interference pattern is created and ultimately the virtual image of the object is constructed there. This is the CO2 laser machining station, which is a part of our self department workshop unit. This CO2 laser system have an ability to give the maximum power up to the 100 watt. This machining system can be used for cutting, engraving and marking on the soft materials including acrylic, PDMS and other polymer based sheets. I universal milling machine pe operate karta hu. और ये मशीन्स गियर कटिंग और फ्लैट साइड कटिंग ये सारी मशीन्स सारे ऑपरेशन इस मशीन पे ऑपरेट होते हैं ये हमारे लेथ मशीन है इसमें हम टर्निंग फेसिंग ग्रूविंग नॉर्लिंग एंड थ्रेडिंग कर सकते हैं